Hello everyone, and welcome back to the People's League stream. I hope you're all excited for this incredible match between Berserk and First. These two teams come off the back of round one victories. First beating TOB by a score of 5-0, and Berserk also taking home a 5-0 victory against a coalition of 101A and 8. My name is Caparzo, and I'm joined today by Happy Rounded and Hazed as my co-commentators. Killa in the production room, and we also have Hump here as well to bring us some analytics ahead of the match. Welcome in everyone, and how do you guys feel going into this match knowing that we have a car cop warfare right off the bat? Well, for one, I'm extremely excited for uh, the Russians to finally be shown in TPL. Um, just a lot different play style as to we with the Americans, and I think it should lead for a good match, especially uh, for armored conflict, uh, conflict and uh, infantry conflict. Yeah, and we have St. Mary as the midpoint here as well, so a lot of meat grinder, uh, a lot of opportunities for tanks. Um, wh what are you, you thinking, Hayes? I'm just interested in what they're, how they're thinking of this match going in, because I don't think many of these clans have uh, ever done this match as like a competitive match. So I'm just interested to see what happens here. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. It's you don't you don't often see the Russian maps come up, and Kharkov definitely seems to be uh, one of the more it, rare ones. Um, it's better than Stalingrad, I'd say though, personally. Yeah, Stalingrad There's has a lot of things uh, with the lagging out of Xbox guys, so I think that's yeah. the reason why it's not played. But otherwise, I think it's a great map. Um, There's a so, lot of places where they can put AT guns up, and a lot of uh, places. So I actually kind of like that about this map. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah, good so, advantages. I, I want to briefly toss it to Hump here as well. Like like I said, he, he's been running some analytics of uh, the games throughout the season and prior season. So, Hump, you see this map, you see Kharkov, you know these two teams. What What is coming to mind here as far as uh, the, the clear advantage? Who has the edge here? I believe it or not, the limited scope of games that were played in TPL from TPL2. Um, there was two games played on it last year. It was a 1-1 draw for each. One US win, one German win. But I can speak from experience um, from last week when we uh, scrimmed it up with Berserk. The German side came out as victors on this map, so the strong German armor will play a massive part in this game coming up. So, yeah. Yeah, so, so speaking of German armor, it uh, looks like the first are the um, German uh, side here, and it and we have Shock, Tron, uh, Shock over here who is running the Panzer IV default right off the spawn. We all know how important that yeah. is, so maybe we just take a look at um, him over here and see how he approaches the point. Maybe. Yeah. Early cap progress is going to the Soviets. <laughs> yeah. That's how these match starts usually. <clears throat> let's uh let's briefly swap to, to Yako here with Berserk. He's um people playing AT right now yeah, and he is been... working the uh the entrance to the point looking to take out some armor. I've been watching that one a lot. He's he's yeah. moving his way though. Yeah, we have our, our first commentator's curse of the season as well, um, with, with Yakko going down right away there. Um, we can swap to um, Patton, who is running the tanks for Berserk as well, and he is right in the middle of the point. Having a little bit of a hard time uh, in these narrow alleyways here, but uh, looking to get free and get back onto the point. The guys who are outside of the circle, the west, get inside the flag. Roll slow, keep it up on turn left. Yeah, that's my bad. We got carried away pushing the locks out. Looks like we're on the razor's edge of, of cap progress here, gentlemen. Alright, follow up behind. I got a flare. Enemy recon tank delta thing. Alright, say I'll go past. I'm looking for that recon tank coming up on our right. Hold here. I think it should be turn said around, that turn around. the point is so balanced in, the, in its position and on the map here that there should yeah, be we're a turning around behind you. Whoever wins this will have a good jumping off point to to set up for the rest of the match. Yeah. Nice, nice uh, circle of houses around it, so... 
As long as they keep the, the outer bounds clear, they won't get anyone else coming into the point. But it's pretty hard on this map. There's so many angles. Alright, go yeah, ahead. The, point turn us around. To one, to each other. 180, yeah, watch yeah, west side, we'll watch back. The map as well, so this should be a yeah, we're watching west. Slugfest from that point now. Are that just coming up on on cap progress here. So, like like uh, I'm said, it, it's capturing here would would be a huge advantage, especially He's considering that, him, considering that both of the then. following points are offset. So, uh, good opportunity to set up here for both teams. No way. Yeah. And there it goes. Capture goes to Berserk. The Soviets, right off the bat, midpoint is captured. And now, if you're the Germans here in first, what, what's what's the strategy? You just lost a, an extended midpoint battle. You, you reset, you try to get in here. What, what, what do you guys think? I think um, you want to hold the high ground here out on the, the windmill side. I just mean if you back it up, you can have another one up here. Point. But getting the outer bounds is starting to get your OPs up and the point is the defense in there is key at this point. Hey guys, we don't know that. if Berserk is going to do that, knowing they're aggressive. They're probably just going to launch a counter offensive. Okay. What? What? Yeah, and, and speaking what? into the team's, you know, what? their tendencies, Hump, huh, maybe you're more prepared to speak to that. Both of these teams had have 5 no. 0 victories this previous uh, round, but. Uh, um, what do you what do you see as far yeah. as the, the, the overall team well. tendencies? And maybe we swap over to Yako in the, in the meantime. Um, so uh, typically, oh, um, first would give it on, on the data that we can see from uh, TPL2. They <laughs> they have far more three two victories compared to Berserk's uh, more common five uh, five zeros. I think um, from last season, uh, the first uh, sorry the Berserk typically had uh, around. Eight five O's uh, throughout the season uh, as compared to the first. Well, I'm, I'm missing the number here, but looking at this, <laughs> the, 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 more more frequently coming out with three two victories, so that speaks to their, their style a lot enough. more. So perhaps um, you know the slow attritional approach may be more Sorry, um, the what the first they're going to try come up with here. Yeah, and yeah. And, speaking, and speaking to that though, I mean, um, the first from TPL3, the data from round one, they, they have almost almost two minutes short of making the fastest 5-0 fastest for the season. So perhaps from TPL2 to TPL3, they may have bucked up their ideas or, or increased the, the, the aggressive factor for them, um, which may play more Try to towards back up, uh, well, of Berserk. Back up right, back up right, actually. Yeah, and, and I think both of the infantry squads that we're seeing here, Cap Even Guns in the first and Yako with Berserk, are, mm -hmm. are both a more offensive-oriented squad. So we're going to see a lot of pushes from Yako onto um, Lumberyard here, and we're going to see a lot of pushes from, from Cap Guns onto St. Mary. But... A um, lot of open ground to cover for, for both these guys, so uh, I think we'll start to see the tanks feast a little bit here, and uh, maybe with that, yeah, with, with that said, maybe we go to go to shock over here with the first. He's still in that default medium. Uh, looks like some infantry around him trying to help him get some uh, repair stations up. I'm intrigued by uh, what's Patton right now. He's out of his tank, yeah. and he's just watching the he's using binocs. I haven't really yeah, seen this before. Let's take a look at Patton. He's yeah, he he is uh, TCing for Berserk mm -hmm. here in, in the light tank, and yeah. he was outside of his tank, you know, kind of spotting for for his gunner and drivers, uh, getting an advanced look on these pushes from the first. So, um, you know, some <laughs> definitely some skilled uh, uh, crewing here. And we're seeing there on the map, Berserk is really starting to set themselves up with their garrison network. Alright, that Puma's dead. Yeah, it's nice garrison network from what I'm seeing. I think so. Crew is very aware of uh, shock in the in the medium. 
Alright, uh, full reverse, full reverse. Seems so. Left, left a little bit. Alright, we've got that. We're pulling back and we're gonna come down the road where you're at and follow you. That. We're pulling back. Um, Oh, the the they see the P4. Oh, yeah. Yep. It looks like Shock missed his first shot. Is this the default battle for the default tanks? Yeah, guys with their yeah let's uh, let's swap over to, to Shock really quick. Shock has yep. got these, these guys in their sight line. A little yeah, tank on tank battle. You're getting out of there. No. Yeah, I, I think they're in the light tank. Uh, right, if I'm, if I'm correct, uh, don't I don't have my so well. so. Bye bye. Uh, that's why they wouldn't engage. Bye bye. They ain't even. Back in dance up. I think that this is a crucial part of the match here. Whoever wins this default battle match will get the armor superiority for a period of a couple of minutes. Yeah, you win that. The win the resource battles is super important. Jack goes setting up a satchel on the front. Uh, down this main road. Right side. Berserk seem to have no doubt to take a different position on this. Yeah, yeah, you have to be content. You have to be content to to s move it up here. Maybe we'll go to. Go to Patton over here and see what uh. We gotta get the Sano's tank. No, what he's up to, first is blanking around. Middle of the road. Superiority. Yeah. They're gonna try to get trying the flank, to flank on. through though. Uh, first infantry on that side bit because they're gonna spot him trying to come through. Hotel garrison. Is that an active garrison? And that medium might get notified about him trying to flank yeah, and adjust for that. Well said, watch this road. In these comp matches, you have everyone on the lookout and everyone's pinging the right thing, so um, looks like they're pulling up with their T-34 and going to try to gang up on the, the T-4 here. That's the right move. Looks like, um, like Shock might be very aware of it. He's got some infantry pings um, showing. Guys here. I'm sorry guys, I am an on comms. He's also getting engaged by AT, so that's gonna be tough, tough situation. You got somebody behind yeah. you. A lot of multitasking. Yep, I got a satchel he is getting out. satcheled. Uh, He's running up on you. Swap over to the shock really quick. The shock is able to kill the guy who was satcheling him and is now working to disarm the satchel. That would be a big play for Berserk if they were able to get that one off. But shock. I got it, I'm in. Like the experienced TC that he is, Gabe gets that satchel right. disarmed, takes the guy out. It's really well played. We got a heavy coming down the like road. Heavy on the point with uh, Berserk. Can you hear Berserk science. There's yeah. a tank coming down main road. They yeah, said heavy attack. Patton just took a run. Yeah, yeah. Patton, Patton gets oh, AT, left. so the Soviet light tank is now out. They're down to just their default medium, I believe. And with that, we can we can stick with uh, shock here as uh, all our other players are are dead. I'd like to get to the infantry in a little bit, but this this armor battle is just so important. Again, right I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. I was trying to ping and fix my headset because for some reason it just decided to turn off and didn't want to turn back on. Yeah, hold for a second. Oh, what you hit? Hit him here. I see him. I'm not seeing him. Oh, it looks like our, uh, what's his name? Cap has eyes on. Uh, yeah, I'm tracking down. I can't see him. Oh, get back. Back, 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 eyes on the heavy. I don't know what that was from or where it was from. Yeah, that's our, uh, AT gun. Back it up. Back it up. Our pal Shock here in the P4 is getting a T guns. Okay. Takes three oh, to the left, turret. Left, left, left. There we go. You got a sight. You got a sight. Hold there. <clears> got <throat> line of sight on this map. Here. You won't be able to get a shot, but we're gonna have to get reps in. Yeah, like we said from the beginning, System those AT rep. guns, some pretty good AT gun placements on this map. Lots of long sight lines can easily destroy a tank with an AT gun. Oh, that's oh. Yeah, Unfortunately. Looks like uh, even more infantry uh, anti-tank by by Berserk here. Ah, oh, yeah, he goes dead. down Satchel's and there's Satchel. The Berserk is really aggressive right now with this. <laughs> they do lose their uh, their TC though. Yeah, um, yeah, and I think that they're Satchel too, so they might be going down here. Um, 
Let's see who we can join in on. Let's uh, let's take a look at Yako. He is uh, he's pushing towards um, Lumberyard, like we said. He's he's uh, in one of the offensive squads for Berserk. So pushing that map edge, and uh, in, in a moment here, maybe we, we we take a look at the strat sketch. But um, for now, let's let's see what Yako's got going on. Yeah, but when we've seen Yako is playing really aggressive this whole match. Definitely, he's been trying to work that uh, east side of Lumberyard hard, trying to secure the buildings, and it's gonna really help uh, drive out drive out the enemy on Lumberyard because it is high ground, and you can see into Lumberyard from there. Some good rocket shots, or even spot their garrison. Got well, he just took out officer. Yeah, right he's here. taking out OPs Destroy. as well. He's really putting in some work here. Oh. Yeah, according to Shock Squad, they did lose all their guys, so the tank did go down. Mm hmm. Kind of figured as much. It looks like there might be a garrison here uh, that Yako might get his eyes on. So, with with him dying there, let's let's take a quick look Turkish at the strat sketch, uh, Killa. Oh, melee, that damage so, gunner. just a bit. bit what I was able to notice so far is, is Yako's kind of pushing down here, trying to control these houses um, to the east side of Lumberyard. Really his only option um, as an attacking squad, other than coming in through here. But uh, I think he's just trying to work, work the hard flanks and, and take out the likely garrison here. Um, Cap Guns is, is really pushing uh, into St. Mary, just straight through the middle, but meeting a lot of uh, re resistance there. Um, Happy, what what are you kind of thinking here when you see the um, uh, this this map layout? Well, it's it can be very predictable on lanes that you're using, unlike the hedgerows of the American maps. Uh, a lot of the space is open, so majority of the time they're going to be using their buildings to try to get up. And if first is able to come and push and into St. Maurice through the buildings on the side, that would probably be their best bet, just using that close quarters uh, to their advantage. And uh, yeah. of course, they definitely got to deal with uh, Yako on the right flank. Hopefully they can push them back and uh, take forward Lumberyard, this forward trench on Lumberyard. Yeah, it's going to really yeah. protect their right side of the map because mm -hmm. majority of that to get to it is all open. And we've, and we've seen um, a lot of Berserk here, so maybe uh, we, we can swap over to, to the first here in a second once Cap Guns is back into it. Um, but but for now, we have um, we have Patton rolling up in an in a IS-1. Uh, and Escort, oh, yeah. I don't know I got if first have any heavies on the squad, field wasn't... right now. There's an enemy garrison on me. We got a supply truck at the middle spawn for that node. We're gonna get those nodes back up. First is starting to get a little bit. Um, they have, they have, yeah, first is pushing into it. They have a medium. <laughs> and it's yeah. actually no, they have a heavy. Right, yeah. It's an uh, H8 right now. Reverse left. Yeah, let's go to cap guns here in the first. He's, he's spawning a little bit closer to the um, train tracks here. And uh, it's kind of playing like a hybrid offensive defense right now. Um, first is getting really, really pushed into their own um, territory and lumber yard and, and Berserk's pace right now is just very hard to deal with. Yeah, I've dealt with it, it's fucking difficult. Looks like Berserk here. is aware of that Panther, and uh, Patton right now is trying to maneuver to take it out. Yeah, that armor battle is, is still going to materialize as both these heavies like make their way in, but um, 
Mark. Right now, first is uh, really shock is tr is struggling to get um to get an, uh, another tank up. So well, he's he's still waiting in an HQ. So Cap guns here is is starting to make a little bit of progress. Maybe maybe Berserk is a little bit uh, concerned on offense right now, but um, more progress than than he's made in a little bit. Approaching Church here from the uh, southwest. Really pleased to see uh, the first try and take that approach on the left side of the map there on the west side. Um, using that cover through the towns is, is the best approach. On the east side, it's so exposed from the road to, to St. Mary's. Um, there, there really is only one route in for the first here. Uh, Hilo, one guy standing kind of on the right side of the road. He's standing on top of one of the... Good pressure, plus Berserk seemed to have it wide open on that, on that west side. Alrighty. So we should maybe start to see a bit more offensive pressure from first and the Berserk reacting. To them. Yeah, I I 100% agree with you. It's um especially right now without a, a heavy tank up to, to to support that main road push. That's that road is just too wide to, to have infantry have any place in there uh, until they have a, a heavy uh, armor unit up there with them. So definitely you, you want to stick with it here. I think first is still trying to get a garrison up on uh, on the west side there to allow these pushes to, to materialize yeah. a little quicker. But once they do get that going, assuming their defense hold, we can see a little bit of an interesting play here in, in, in uh, St. Mary. I would say that it first is holding down defense excellently. They have a nice garrison network up right now. And offense and red line Gary, so I wouldn't say there's that much of a problem going forward. Real, real good width is up there. Mm. Yeah, the uh, Berserk's map control right now is very dominant on the east side. So, so to to your earlier point, um, um, the, the going the west yeah, side is the right okay. way to King go. Cap gun spies. Infantry. Uh, Patton there in the IS one. He's holding let's that swap. real key position. Yeah, let's swap over to Patton here. He's he's yeah, out of his moment, tank yes. right now um, as he's getting satcheled. And he gets him. Checks his tank for satchel, no, but is taken out right before he's able move, to get move, into move. the tank. That is I got clapped, so. I got so satchel, I Patton's put tank has now lost tank. their TC. I mean, I need we all know. I am down. Oh I'm not. A, I'm not a tank guy, but but the IS-1 man, that that tank, you can't see anything out of it. So the, those two guys are gonna have a hard time. Yeah, especially with AT breathing down their neck as well, just having to multitask dealing uh -huh. with. Berserk's tanks and or uh, the first tanks and then AT as well is just yeah. not a fun situation to be in. Yeah, we can go back to cap guns here. Still working the attack, playing stealthy, using the MP40 as a squad leader, which super important. Fifty nine seconds. Er I'm gonna hold out for his for his OP. It looks like. Maybe intake as well, uh, or intake if you're uh, if you're Francis. Shout out Francis uh, is uh, is working with cap guns here on the attack. They're both gonna set up an outpost at the same time. As soon as you see Charlie's OP move, that's the all, all in mark. Sixteen seconds. You see the IS one from earlier. Make sure you guys are close that is like Patton's finally getting Good back yeah. into his IS. Got a full crew back up. Go. 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 Yep, and, and you, oh, you hear the call for cap oh, guns. My OP's about they to go. all go. The guy just killed me. But taken out right away. Oh, goodness. That's crap. That's sad. Yeah, we can go to, we can go to um, Patton in, in the meantime and just see him back. Uh, still in friendly territory, so I was able to get back in pretty easily. Possible heavy tank deep on the west, tracks. Uh, no, 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 no. First, did get their garrison up on the west side, though. Yeah, they, um... Unfortunately, Capgun loses his OP right away, so that a lot of that push is, is taken out um, right away. I hear on Patton's comms that they're, they're, there's an airhead that someone spotted. Alright, 
I mean, Hump, I, I don't know if you have the analytics for this one, but, right, but Airheads during comp to move matches, I mean, the success are. rate has not been good through a couple seasons, just anecdotally. I'm with Savage. I'm deeper. Yeah, I'm right next to Savage. I don't have data on that, but just speaking from strictly from experience, I mean, a lot of teams are getting wise to it. Um, you know, the old Airhead bombing or combination is... I can't see nothing. Blueberry, blueberry lobbies. Enemy, 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 from uh, our scrim we had with them last week, which conveniently they were in Russia to attack. You know, up, and they caught us out early with a, a, an early airhead. Whatever you want us to do! Really threw us, um, um, us off our pedestal for setting up, so i um, surprised not to see that tactic get used again this week. Copy that. <laughs> no, that's, that's very pertinent that, that he played this exact same scenario uh, just recently, so. Um, yeah, I oh think God, I think Patton is, is supporting his push pretty well here. Um, spying garrisons yeah. all up uh, there. Oh, maybe that was a tank. Gone. AT gun. All right, reverse left. Stick right. on these buildings. Reverse and left. I think we should check back with uh, Yako. Uh, oh, just going down. Okay, straight back, straight back, straight back. Yeah, back. Get back, get behind here. Yep. Yeah. First time. Yep. Find me that enemy yeah, tank, Patton. boys. Oh. Patton is is under a ton of pressure right now. A AT perhaps, maybe maybe uh, an AT gun. Here. Working with his infantry to try to get any sort of Item mark straight out there. If you see it, hit him. If you see him, hit him. I like first got a bombing run going down on the west Pull side forward. of the yard. As soon as you see a clear shot, he's yep. that they know is somewhere around there. Pull forward. Yeah. Patton says he's a George tank. monkey. In. Yeah. I'm gonna take a shot. Back up! I'm wondering if it's uh, shock over here. No, it's not. Like shock. Nah. I need another repair station. Bomb run no. took a repair oh, station. Oh, Patton's repair station goes down with that bombing run. I was keeping him alive over here. <laughs> now he's in real big trouble with the tank still having an eye on. I've got rounds coming in on Very good bombing run, even though they might not have right. gotten a lot of kills, they just pull really forward, helped right, out pull forward, uh, right. to take out that heavy tank uh, for Berserk. Yeah, yeah, force them to go back. They're gonna have to go back and disengage. Stay, stay, stay! Turn left, turn left! I'm watching your back, big dog. I got you. It's like Patton's almost getting satcheled again. Oh, Patton. With the quick swap out to, to, to save his crew. Just stay within my sight. Enemy Panther on Delta Ping Accurate Stationary. Cart. Alright. Is this Panther trying to claim so some back up? Uh, no, I'm gonna get out of here. Take advantage here. I don't want to blow up anyone's <laughs> spot right, here, right. but, uh, but Shock is having some trouble in, 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 in the Panther. Uh, he's, he's having, he's stuck a little bit. He's. Kinda of not in a bad spot, but at the same I don't time, know, he's got some elevation here, Cap. This, <laughs> this could be. <laughs> <a play. laughs> we're, we're exposing a new meta <laughs> right before our eyes. You might even see this IS some randomly pop but out. Just start shelling over here. I don't want to see what happens if they throw a truck against us. We're in position. He, he seems to have a ping on it now, so this this could be a real clutch engagement here. Um, yeah, taking out this heavy is, is the relief that the first needs right now. A lot of their offensive pushes has, has gone by the wayside uh, to deal with this um, this pressure here. Hey, Salami, I'm gonna leave you with these two heavies. I'm gonna build. They know the IS one is fucked up too. I'll be right back. Oh, Panther is down. They, I think that they redeployed. I think they redeployed to. Um, they did. Yeah. So. Deployed. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we're we're they've been stuck it. At the Is same it? time, though, Patton goes down. Um, not his tank, but he was out again trying to save his crew from the, the first AT onslaught. Team. But but his eight isn't able to get it done. Let's go I to Yakko. I think he just got team killed. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Maybe it was a uh, maybe it was a grenade as he, as the tank was getting rushed. I think so. I think someone was trying to shoot the guy that was actually them and killed him instead. <laughs> Mate. I might shine on my game knowledge here and, and expose myself a bit, but I don't believe the truck can move the panther if that was his intent um, to nudge him. It can try to, but it usually ends badly. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, um, just just for the viewers out there. Uh, Shock is currently taking a truck out to, what I assume, try to release the panther.
faster from the, the perch that it's that it's on. So we'll see if that I'm works and we'll come back to that in, in a little bit. But in the meantime, uh, Yako is still on that. Uh, he's actually looks like he swapped sides to the, the more uh, western side of the houses into Lumberyard. Um, kind of where the tank was. I'm sure he was supporting uh, Patton when, when he was still out there. Patton's tank is still up. <laughs> Where's he shooting yep, from? Yeah, Patton's tank is up, still damaged, man. working on repairs. Got the one guy well, looks like Capcom is going to try to go for the See that MG? up on the hill. Is it Rocket? Uh, I think that's Yako, but uh, he looks like yeah, he's trying to hit the front. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he hits that, I, know, I should be listening. This is one of those Hail Mary shots, I... Yeah. Drop me explosive ammo, I'm so I'm gonna the tank. shots you don't miss. No, no hit. Went over all the houses. Uh... <laughs> Do you see the truck up here with the tank now? You can't get it yeah, out, though. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> what shock right. is in? Let's 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 swap to shock and, the... and see uh, see this operation. We know why shock stays on those bodies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> operation free Panther. Yeah, they got the airhead. <laughs> Hump. Oh, yeah, it looks like you might have been right. Where? I don't believe it's physically possible. I think it needs to be a track vehicle to, started, to nudge I've them off. The, uh, the the right if, the track, if the truck hits it sometimes, I've seen the truck fly. All I can tell you is that he's far enough yeah, that I can't see him. Not at that pace, pace anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alrighty. Well, while they work this out, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it for you viewers out there. But uh, in the meantime, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at Cap Guns. Um, he's working the very far west flank into St. Mary's right now. So let's see if he's able to um, to break some of the deadlock here that's been that's been established. Someone's set of nodes went down. Mm. Looks like Recon is doing their job. There's guys by me right now. Stay out there for your uh, protect that blue zone, Gary. It's thing in Iowa. Copy. First release, you stay in G7 Northwest. Captain's really holding these angles, trying just to get his squad up to him before he pushes in, I think. Uh, it's going to be a while now. Yeah. Shock's really holding this angle in this tank. <laughs> Hey, let's go in ahead and switch over to Patton. Looks like he either got hit by a tank. Oh, him and either AT. Fuck, man. Uh, his turret's down. Oh, he's down. Got us. Yeah. See, now so we've got the tank. Try to get up there. The, uh, the counter tank up here this time. Yeah, we need After to After a long struggle, Patton finally going down in that IS. So right now, if you're the first, you have a little Why bit not? of a uh, fuel advantage. Um, Yako goes down on the attack as I'm about to say to swap to him. So we'll, we'll stay so with Cap Guns, who's, who's kind of back to where he was earlier, where he set up the OP, went on that uh, on that attacking run. Really close to St. Mary. Um, really needs to work on getting out these spawns before... Uh, yeah, it seems like Cap Guns is really not trying to make himself noticeable right now, which is a good move right now. Try not to produce some little noise here. I mean, Goose. Goose is in almost in position. Yeah, he's the only one near St. Mary's. Maybe he might move up his OP for his squad. That might be nice. Yeah, there's really no support by any of his uh, his infantry or his squad, so he's going to have to be that spot. he's scouting the area right now for his team. Oh, I guess that went down. Still, his OP is up, so at least he, at least he has a chance here to, to stay with it. 
Um, we can go back to Yako again, still attacking Umbriard. It's it's first is not making this easy on him by any means. Yeah, but it seems like he's handling the situation very well. How is what they just thinking? Real nice play with the PPSH really coming into its own here within the buildings. Yeah, I killed the guy that was close. Strong advantage for the for the, the Soviets in this map. Plays to its strengths. It's always been a good room clear. With that high fire rate. Could be easy doing be a great pre fire weapon. Yeah, the stick mag version is so much more controllable too, which uh, doesn't really make sense, but it's it's always my favorite weapon to use as the Soviets, the uh, the final AT class. It's uh, one of my favorites in the game. Yeah. I don't know. I like the I like the my my probably my favorite gun in the, in the Soviets is the, uh, the SVT. Yeah, the, the the third support class with the SVT is uh, actually enjoyable to use compared to the other. Support classes. Is he top floor? Probably the, only, yeah. probably the only one. Hell, I hate that grease gun the Americans get sometimes. <laughs> Yakko's really taking it slow. I mean, he, he it realizes that he's pretty much alone here. Um, him and really uh, his squad mate goes down, so he's just, just him all, all alone here trying to uh, hold. Yeah, it seems like he's going back for his little feet to try to save it. First coming in on a flank mm. on them. That is a little squirrely man. Nice. He still didn't manage to take him out, even though he got a few hits in. Shooting and moving, boys. We're pulling forward. That's really disappointing. Is that yeah. really trying to use this, uh, this closed section of the map here? Using the map edge to their advantage on the east side. We see a couple of squads making progress down that. Southwest side. Uh, South we'll side. Yeah, way back uh, Delta Ping Station yeah so Yako sent back to the Gary um, that on that here. southeast corner of uh, uh, his blue line on the map edge there. First is doing a good job of removing some of these spawns, particularly on more closer to the road, but it seems like this spawn for Berserk has been up for quite some time now. and. It's People kind of the up. wound that is, is just right. keeps festering, and if I'm the first, uh, that that's a big part of the map that we need to control. Yeah, I need uh, to Shock's uh, Panther is still stuck where it was. <laughs> oh, and as yeah, I say that, very unfortunate. first is able to lock that garrison out <laughs> and uh, kind of establish a lot more map control in their territory. So defense is is doing its job for the first, certainly. Yeah. Moose, can you have Grizz switch back over to me? They got already defensive. Hey, be advised. I'm gonna fucking try and get these back with Yako. He bit. still has an OP up there, seat. though. Uh, Appreciate it. On the east side, Garrison did go down, but they have a chance to get back up another one. Yeah, I think that's what they're working on now. Um, Yako switching classes to the SVT. I feel like of how much Berserk can throw on their side on the east side, I would, I'd say that they should probably try more of a western approach here. Even, because even first and the west approach isn't even out of covered. Well, I mean, if they do end up pushing that west side, we know where, uh... You know where Patton is. Yeah. Where, uh, Shock is in his tank. You can well, yeah. that back, uh, west side with his tank. Yeah, both both our infantrymen are down here. We, we have um, Patton still working his way all the way back to, to the point. We have Shock, who's, whose panther still seems to be a little bit stuck at that same spot. Yeah, here. Gary's um, red. Gary's I red. I wonder when you just decide Gary to is do red. Do he he is red. Gee, he's yeah. around the corner of that building, so I expect yeah. him to be coming in for a second. Out. But once they pull them two panthers together, that they is a real yeah. advantage. Talk secure right now is on an AT gun at the moment. So at least they're doing something. Remember I'm a call-in bomber and artillery pings. They're laying them though for how long this tank's stuck there. It's just delaying them from getting a good push going with those panthers. I need you to just come give me a bomb. Yeah, it's probably why they are not can't get another panther is because it's a... It's just another one on the field. I'm trying to get We don't... One sec. They're not gonna come in. Yeah, Yako is able to get a garrison up for uh, but apparently for back in that spot um, on the on the map's edge, so offensive pressure can resume. Cap guns working again on the on the offense, uh, slow going. I think that they're if they'd be wise to probably just wait for this double panther push uh, pump. I mean, 
going back to last seasons and and you know your own experience playing the game like you see this happen a lot um for for teams that lose the midpoint off the bat is that they'll stack up some armor and try to like get something to push through here what do you see for like success rates there especially like in these comp matches where the players are are actively looking for something like that it's kind of hard to capture the data Box based on mid, mid caps. Um, there's not really information I'm that like you get somewhere. through from, from our results postings. Um, but I think it maybe can speak to the second point that you've made there in terms of pulling armor. Obviously, we, we well know that the German advantage is in the, in the um, ability to spawn two heavy tanks simultaneously if you're fortunate enough to, to gather that much fuel. Um, so that's probably why you will see the German um, you mark percentage one. much higher. Uh, based on some other factors as well, such as the the weapons. So, yeah, if if in the event that the Germans are unfavourable cap, so there are a couple yeah, of maps where the Germans are unfavourable. Now this one is equally split, but just on the east side of this map for Kharkov, it's more predominantly Soviet focused. Now I'm for, forgetting the name of the point here on the east side um, uh, for, for mid cap, but it's it's positioned about 100 metres um, from the from the Soviet line. So yeah, if if in the event that um, it was an unbalanced capture for the Germans, um, the the way to go about it would probably be, in my opinion, to use um, your your armor strengths, wait out your time. We're approaching the halfway point here, and it's probably tying into them now with the the double Panthers being up. Um, yeah, the, the first building up their logistics base and AT guns, tanks, fuel, uh, munitions, and spawn points, etc. Um, we should probably start right, seeing the hot. first guys come in to push now that they've um, lost the mid cap. Yeah, yeah and and you, you mentioned it with their logistics base. Um, it, they're, they're building a ton of AT guns here on this elevated ground. Um, maybe we, we jump in here with, uh, with Patton here. Uh, All right, it's who's up. now oh, no, it's completely it's up here with Give the IS-1 here. and working on taking out some of these, uh, yeah, some of the shot. fuel for the first. Looks like they might be battling an AT gun. Shots back in. Just back up too now. Pat, live okay. ping on that panther, buddy. Live right, ping. right, far right. It's like Pat Keep it a good angle. something. I don't know if it was uh, the AT gun. He did get a hit on the panther, I believe. One more note, that's not true. Yeah. Enemy recon no, they didn't take out anything yet. Uh, they did hit something. Yeah. I'm really surprised not to see uh, some repair stations close to the dump panthers here. Oh, um, see the flash, see the flash. I think it's they do have first guys do. Right. I know you're right. Give me around here. Those are nodes I was thinking of. Got it. There's that AT gun. Nice AT for you, please. Hold on, hold on, stop. Just take over. Let's get rushing. Oh, we gotta stop moving. Okay. Oh, Patton goes down. Oh, that's a huge blow for the Berserk here. Especially if uh, first is able to get these tanks back up. Now we've seen Berserk's tank go down, up and down, up and down. It's not great. Yeah. It does look I, like the uh, shot got his tank unstuck finally. So it's if really they can't German get a push going right now, right now you look clean on Satchel. Right, right. Yeah, let's uh, let's see what uh, what Shock is doing in his tank here. It looks like they they got back up to full health. They're now ready to move out if they want to. Looking at. Yeah, I wanted to go further right, but Medellin's in the spot I want. Yeah, right now. Yeah, like, so there's one of the we got in the middle of the map here, here, so I don't really see an opportunity for the first guys to push in. Now the I'm IS trying to find there. a different location. Mm -hmm. the two I also don't see them using them artillery at the minute, so that that would be one of the key factors in breaking this this dead. Big up watch in front of you. We Looks like Burst is going to set up another down Western down Garrison down back in the same spot they had it before, when, before it went down. But it looks like their Garrison on the west side is also going locked out, so hey, might tankers, not be a good idea, on right now. Mike just died right in that building where the rep stations. Dad, not my danger uh, I don't know, i got a gun. No, dude, you're down. I think it's another. They might just have to keep pushing on west side. Alright, I'm coming up with supplies. I'm checking behind. It'd be you very interesting up. to see how Big up to your if left, they can't get up on your hard left. both Panthers pushing in towards yeah, St. Marie, how they deal with that, because it has a very good mixture of uh, close quarters along with uh, also angles and sight lines, long sight lines leading into towns to easily be ambushed by any other tank. Go forward, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, first, if they move them to St. Marie, I feel like they would go down easier. 
Get the fuck out of just, just, just the, the, the angles that are around them, the the borders and alleyways. It's not great. Yeah, Patton ended up. Patton ended up taking up a uh, a lighter tank here as well. So so right now the armor balance on the field is very tilted in the first favor. Um, not sure how much they're aware of that right now. And like like Hum said, they they don't have a ton of infantry around and spawns to be able to capitalize. But I think cap guns is working to to kind of clear up and and create more spawns for them. Um, in in a supply truck, kind of like building up some of these blue lines again. All the while, yeah, Yakko has pretty much had free reign to, to push into the point. And yeah, not too much back. pressure on midpoint from first. It seems like first is just getting constant pressure to the west side, but at least trying to. Alright, I got a couple of attacking garrisons. Wrong for them. Let's uh Take let's go to, one, to to cap guns uh here. He he's really playing the long game. Built up a Gary, found one of Berserk's garrisons on the red line there, takes it out. So now wow. he's got two hundred meters of, of free rain in front of him. If he's able to get his OP up, cycle some people in there, he can he can really get uh, make this uncomfortable for Berserk here. Put your OP down and don't even scout anything, just fuck off. Mm. Yeah, there's a, looks like there's a nice push coming on the west side now. A lot of ex squads moving to it. Makes me at least leaders. I can yeah, see. Berserk don't have any presence there in that echo call, uh, echo six. There's, there's one squad gonna... lead moving south at the minute, so they got. I'm gonna get right behind them. I think they're gonna catch him off guard. Yeah. I'm gonna see how quickly they can. Uh, they're gonna be a reassess the situation. Negative. Yeah, Berserk uh, also not utilizing any artillery either, which would be critical in pushing for Lumberyard here on this built up area on the east side. Quite surprised to see that as well. I'm not able to see how much recon presence they have, but it, it is interesting to push around the open map like this. Um, we can go to Yako here while, while Captain's dead. Yako is just fighting like, you know, fist fighting these guys in like a phone booth basically. This, uh, this like out of bounds push that he's working on. Oh, he's out of bounds pushes. Also big to, to defend his own garrison here. First definitely knows it's here. Oh. Good message, yeah. Rough, rough push there by Yako. Um, we can join back in here with uh, with with Shock. Let's let's see what Shock's up to in in the Panther here. Um, he's he's kind of still holding this hard, above um, along the map edge on the east, them. but he's very effective in in taking out these berserk well, pushes. Gate, mm, maybe, yeah. yeah. Try it. Try it. Do you need to go forward? No. You gotta go. You call your shot. I. I you're not gonna get shot. Definitely being a stationary uh, turret. Southwest. Southwest. Got an outpost with that. They were spying the spa spawns. Enemy supply truck leaving left spawn. Jesus. Echo's really in the hate with this bazooka. Oh, we got deep outside. Yep. Yeah. Enemy garrison down. H6. H6 garrison down. I think he just took out the yeah, yeah. yeah, looks like they just called out on command chat that they took out the garrison that Yako was defending earlier. So, again, freeze up their, their east side a bit. Uh, I think they back up quickly. Yeah, it looks like they still have an outpost. I was looking at the same. He is injured. Go ahead, scoot up, gun right. Keep checking right. So, same with the first, but let's swap into infantry. We'll swap to cap guns. Again, he's pushing from the west side uh, on the north this time. Trying to take out some of the back line to, to prevent Berserk from being able to get into St. Mary, but um, not a ton of friendly forces in his area. 
He's acting more like a rigged on squad right now. Elo, try to get your OP somewhere on the move. Right push in this position. Yeah, or or it. replace it with mine. Garrison, or on my move trade. marker. That's on the spot. west side, a strong point. We need to move it into the buildings. Confirmed. Possible that, that inexperience on this map may be playing a factor here in, in the struggle to, to get any major pushes going. Um, just looking at some data there from, from TPL2 and cross-referencing against the, the, the PC data that I've collected as well. Uh, they, they also don't play Kar uh, Karkov a lot either, with three matches in total for their seasonal last year. But, interesting enough, although the data set isn't big, um, the the margins are pretty tight with me. a German win percentage of 60%, which isn't massive compared to some of the other maps. So. Yeah, probably a bit of an experience here we're seeing, and uh, maybe unfam yeah, unfamiliar familiarity with the with, with the different maps here, and factions. Would you be content to play Kharkov if it came up in uh, in a, for a climb match, or you know you? Yeah, I would be more inclined to 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 agree to the nighttime map, and I believe the debate is probably taking place. We need it. I can push it. Right, I'm in a good position. Um, I can flank it up to my they, move. They get on the side. Okay, well, look, you can't go down to the Garrison uh, on GA, whatever. Because you're going to get called out. No. I'm not going to Garrison. I'm going further right. and ramp it down. My moves. Oh, I see what you're talking about. So I have to go further right. Yeah, I got it. Go to move. In between the houses. Come up. Of the tanks and the way they're designed with the increased chance for ricochet puts them at. Not necessarily too much of a disadvantage when it comes to one on so, yes, I would play yep, yep. Karkov, I'd be more inclined to play Knight. So yeah, we actually, um, the, the seventh played, um, Berserk during a, a scrim on Karkov Knight, and it was extremely foggy. We had the whole down west side road. of the map, so, um, the low ground there, and visibility couldn't have been more than, like, 30 meters, so, definitely negates a lot of the advantages that the Germans have in their ability to pull multiple armor units into the field, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely would be glad to play it. I think the Soviet uh, weapon balance is not um, as bad as, you know, maybe it used to be with the um, Germans and, and the British, but uh, I, I think in terms of balance, it's, it's as fair as it gets. I'd really love I love this Karkov. Um, I like I love this play Karkov on this. I think the only uh, Russian maps I wouldn't play is all the other ones. All the other Russian maps I would not like to play. There's just too much of a disadvantage going on there. Too many fields. But we do. Well, yeah, curse, uh, curse night though. That limits the visibility down just like Karkov, so that could lead to. Some interesting battles as well. Yeah, I, I put a friendly on there, and it was hell. <laughs> <laughs> I know Hump played the uh, quarterfinal um, against Seventh last year on on uh, Curse Night, and that was that was intense with all the uh, ATs hiding in the grass. Not pleasant, but um, one of the disadvantages as well that Crack uh, usually gets thrown around with the the Russians is then not having the AT class. But I would expect at this level most of these players should. Mm should have that unlocked, so yeah. it's probably not so much a point to, to labor yeah. on. Yeah, Cap Guns is, is starting to have a lot... Yeah, I mean, that was such a such an advantage when, when that uh, was given to them in the in the Lend-Lease class, but um, let, let's go ch check out Yako here. He, he's still on the same push as we've been kind of seeing him on the whole game. You have to keep honest on that push, though. It's uh, it's it's a meat grinder, and you, you know it's going to be that way, but if you give it up, then it, it opens the door for first to, to kind of do more of what Cap Guns is doing on the on these flanks. Until they get armor up, though, the first, I, I feel like it'll be a, a, a very difficult uh, proposition. Now I'm gonna go help out in. Never mind, he's dead. Yep. Go to cap guns here again for the first. Yeah. Uh, 
flank. Again, uh, replacing his OP, trying to get his, his guys in, but it's uh, tough going in these open fields out to the west. I think if you're struggling to get through the town here, as he's tried them multiple times, you just have to keep going wider out um, to try and get that edge in and get some bodies in the sector. Um, yeah, both these teams going in for the long game now. Um, the first average map, te uh, average game time is uh, 56 minutes um, for a win with Berserk going a bit longer. Um, their average game time being 70 minutes. So, uh, going to start creeping into unknown territory for both the teams as they're holding each other at arm's length here. I remember yeah, doing this there the same from the start of this match. I'm still thinking Berserk's gonna win this. Yeah, you gotta you gotta keep, think that um, you know we're approaching 33 minutes left of the match, um, almost an hour having elapsed. Um, you, you, at a certain point for Berserk, they're gonna decide that they're content and they'll start to like kind of pull back some of the up. offense that they're doing. But um, for the first, you also gotta keep in mind that that mind. So. You gotta work on, on getting something getting something moving. Yeah, if they don't start, they're gonna start getting desperate, and that's not good to show. I, they, they seem to be pulling some armor here, guys. Yeah, I know, I got rockets. Sector, there's a, I can't tell if there's a TC's in, but there's a T's there, ah, an IS-1 and another tank. You know, up in the town. Heavy round for three or more. Interesting to see them forming up like this. Usually I wouldn't want my takes all too, too, close, too close together. I think the two teams are taking different approaches. These Panthers have sat static in the same kind of area for, for quite a while now. I'm quite surprised to see that. I think the first maybe need to try and take a different tack to both of these tanks to try and make something happen. Garrison on me, Garrison on me. Yeah, I agree with that. Garrison's down. Enemy flares up. It seems like where the, pan where the Panthers are, they're getting overrun right now. So they have to be active defensively up. though, and, and, and the fact yeah. that they're not facing the enemy on the north side, they're more focused into the town. We're going to go forward right, we're ready to put the team down. Okay. Fucking bastards. If you want to start back, we're going to go home. They're setting up for... I just thought Yaka would get killed. You're going to help boost? Right next to the Panther that we're watching. Can I get an enemy garrison marker on Hotel Squad? I'm going hunting on him. Yeah, we, we need we need blast fast. Charlie and Idol. We're going after. Like head after the fucking directions are. Get at it. It's like Patton uh, is turning around to go deal with uh, enemy garrison far out to the west. I believe it's Give me an update where that uh. It's not bad enough. Uh, track is. I'm hunting him. I don't know if that supply truck is. Cap actually happening. Yeah, we can take we can take a look at Pat in here and see what he's up to in the in the lighter tank. Um, I think I heard on comms that he was looking for a half track that first has. So, um, hard right just spotted up there on the top left. Uh, hard right. Be careful out there, Pat. In the red zone, so right dog, help me get a point mark to set up this offensive garrison. Man. It'll be back breaking for if first oh, yeah. that half track. That's a, a six hundred fuel, I believe, and uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's on it's on the commander built garrison. Come here, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, shock oh, and Yako are in are in are in a battle as well at the same time. Panther um, Shock is moving up now to try to the whole the whole play. Um, yeah, to get these spawns yeah. away so they can get a bit further back. Just behind that building. Oh, without that, I don't know. Breathing room is gonna be valuable in the next 30 minutes. Great, great infantry cover too, protecting them. Yeah, let's let's take a look at Shock, uh, who's making that push that we're talking about here. He's got Yako squad just on the other side of that house that we're, that uh, the TC is looking at, taking AT just to the front. Yeah, we're rolling forward to the end of this row of houses to check it out. They mark that as OP. Very aware that there's a one right there. Good, good, Yako good. is working on setting up an AT gun at the same time. <laughs> Cheeky. I don't know if he could do a deceit from there, but... He's, he's moving, he's moving. He's moving. Here. He sees the Gary. Him. Takes it out. Wow. Yeah. Modelo got the Gary. I got the Gary. Oh. 
Patent, when patent's scary, so we're just looking at rotating out. Mm. I'm gonna rotate here. Thank you, Rotate. Yeah, rotate left. Rotate left. Play you got hay bales behind us. Uh, shocks, crew, there. Okay, Greg, we're um, going to pass them backing up and kite them out. Shock, you need repairs? Uh, it's just tracks, but yeah, when we okay, stop, you want to come up and hit them, go ahead. Right now, backing off. He knows those tanks are on his left. Gun left. He's out of position uh, right now. He definitely needs to play himself back in a good position to be able to engage. That's further out. That's further out. We're going Yep, Shock is aware here. that there's a lot of spawns coming in from that western uh, row of houses. Okay, Setting the tank up in a good spot. Go ahead and hold Lally, there. I want yeah. you going to, uh, go to Big F. The C-34 is coming, coming in. It's coming in right now. Do a tank push right. or... Hey, Gab, we're back to full notes. Brother. Enemy supplies and eight. Right, I appreciate that. I wonder what's yeah, happening to happen right now. Yeah, I'm making some really, really good headway there into, um, into the town from both the south and the west side. Looks like we're having toxic airhead from cap guns. Enemy yeah, it looks like that was denied. Which hey, I think an uh, airhead in H5, which is what you wanted, would not have gone great knowing where the Russians are. Dude, he's fucking staring at me. God damn it. They're gonna take all the OPs out. Shocked, he's aware of a tank. Got spotted out. He's in perfect position to, to deal with them if, he's, if he makes himself uh, apparent really through scared. those trees. It does make more sense for them to be Where? doing the tank call if they're coming up now. Yeah. I thought they were still all sitting <laughs> Mike, watch it. You got infantry on my infantry ping down there, buddy. I'm watching, careful. Yeah, I'm watching both sides Mike, and I'm wa trying to watch these infantry. No, don't waste any time. Don't waste your time doing it. Protect tanks. All right. Shells are going out on a... Hump, I think, uh, oh, first might have heard you, they... Uh -oh. oh, goodness. Uh -oh. oh, they got precision striked. That was all that infantry in that, in that trench must have spotted them. They set up the precision it was, strike. It was bound to happen. Yeah, they, they overstayed their welcome a bit there. Um, we can, uh, we can go to Patton, but what I was saying is that, uh, uh, Hump, I heard the calls for Artie here. And uh, they must have heard you because they're trying to get already part of the game again. Yeah, I just got a peek at their fuel as well. I was trying to spot that as well. So I think Are you nervous because we're streaming live? So it's going to take them to get that panther back up. Um, I should be mellow because they have to creep in a little bit more. But if they first get this panther back in action and keep them marking, I can see them more than one. We're going to last push here 26 minutes. They've probably got time for one or two airhead bomb and run. They've got, they've got the munitions. Um, yep, like Five rounds, like that, huh? AG Hotel. I see Berserk probably yeah, trying to respond for the after I see the RD. They, they are closing in now on St. Mary's. I see three or four OPs 200 meters out from St. Mary's. So I think, given what I know about the first, they might start transitioning some players off the defense onto attacking it. Various different spots, they put a bit more pressure on um, They really do need this RA up now, three guns going, that's going to eat the munitions very quickly. But you will see an effect on St. Mary's um, if it's three guns with HE and smoke. So let's see how this plays out over the next couple of months. Yeah, and, and I think you're right about pulling some people off defense because let's, let's swap over to Yako. Yako is as close as he's been in some time to the point. Um, now working the west side rather than the east side where they lost that garrison earlier, but uh, he's really making his way in pretty close into Lumberyard here. Right. Think he just went to come out and get shot over the supply truck as well while he's trying to set up some back lanes. So I think the first is they start using some of their abilities which they have advantage over in terms of bomb run versus Katusha. They should um, they're a good spot here. Doc just got his uh, panther back. Yeah, and I think that there actually might be some cap progress on Lumberyard right now. Um, Where is our teammate? There's 20 minutes here. Once you see that go up, you just I think they just have to start committing on this one. Yeah, 100%, especially with... Uh, but it does look like cap guns, uh, and we can swap to him quickly, who's really out there deep um, now. 
to, to your earlier point, playing a little bit more recon, but he's now diving into St. Mary. Um, first has a pretty good control here to the southwest of that point, and if they're able to take a couple spawns out, they, they could really flip, uh, turn the tide here. They might have took a big risk. That... The Lumber Yard is now getting captured. There's three um, three um, squad leads on Lon Lumber Yard for, for Berserk. We may have missed that one while we're paying a bit of too much attention to the first. Yeah, no. Uh, but it's not good that I don't take Lumber Yard at this point. <clears throat> because it looks like cat pressure has been going on St. Mary's a little bit, but not too hard. Yeah, Hugh has and cat open pressure OP. looks like has been uh, extinguished on St. Mary's as OP. it continues on Lumberyard. Looking at the maps, it looks like this cat progress is is a real thing. Lot, lots of berserk guys um, pushing into the east. I'm wondering when they got all of these, where the Gary was for this. I might have missed it. I think if they first get a recon flare over that point, they're going to get a fright. There's a lot of bodies on that SP. Absolutely. I think two, 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 you get a bombing going late. on it too. Mm. Yeah, it's it's it, it was allowed by the fact that, um, you know, they, they adjusted so many people to attack, but in doing so, left the defense a little light. Um, Berserk now just approaching half cap. Hand going up. Never got any visibility on the cap pressure for them in the minute, but they're about 35 seconds. All left of out looks, looks like that, like, versus actually been able to, to stave it off here right, for a moment. Right. Cap guns is in, uh, I think it's me to stave it off here. It's to remain integral. Uh, yeah, I'm working my way there. Yeah, the race as well. Yeah, absolutely. Tank's pushing in nicely from the southeast. That gets a point. That is real chance here at 22 minutes. Bizerk probably want to be some risk of ours here as well. Yeah, you see 22 minutes on the clock. You don't want to get too crazy. Um, I don't know what we have, uh, what Berserk has as far as spawn points, but uh, as far as tanks, we, we, we know Patton is still coming out of HQ with the IS-1, so um, a, an opportunity here for the first, and, and they're they're sensing it and moving out. My like are coming in the shock at our No, 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 we're okay. First is getting back Lumberyard, the look of it. Start sending in the tower. Drive, drive, shoot tower. Both teams are in positive cap progress. They said the tank mid -cap cap nearly at the same time. Um, Big up my looks like first is a little ahead in the cap progress, actually. So this and is this is getting interesting here, boys. I, first is going to take the middle point, I think, if the oh. Berserk doesn't hold it off. It's this really, really two close. Really close. Out from the point. Yeah. It's got about 20 seconds, 25 seconds before it gets in there, so that's going to keep adding to that cap. Right? Yeah. Let's let's swap to let's swap to Pat and who's now it's pushing up. Game. Told them they were going to. They know that the IS-1 is coming. Yeah, there's a respawn. Buster and Falcon here for attack. There's lots and lots of bodies here. Yeah, yeah they, they need... They're your sniper, guys. In looking at Berserk, they have one garrison with 25 seconds on the spawn wave. And Dover. Get that turret back to front. Don't worry yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, we're back to we gotta shot, go. shot coming in. Uh, yeah. Pushing yeah. in to the church as well. Gonna get yeah, more cap pressure on. I think they yeah, got yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm going right on edge. I'm going. I'm gonna create it. Yeah, shock is is needing to get into this cap section. We gotta yeah. catch that yeah. point. Yeah. Oh, Berserk pulled off the attack. Now there's only one so we can on the site. Looks like it's three on three on the strong on point. I don't Berserk see defending. Uh, left. Start shooting. It, it, it's going back and forth. Yeah. Right on there. Start shooting, start shooting. We know Berserk is very good in a pinch. They can really handle themselves when it comes down to those really tight spots that they get put into. And uh, it looks uh, like they're really showing what they're made of right now. Yeah, the path they're rolling into St. Mary's here. It's going to be really integral. Get right in that Is anyone have the ability to reinforce for St. Mary's or Berserk site or has the beat? I had to cut. Probably they have to have a reinforce. I can check here in a second. It it does oh, not oh, look like the reinforce is down. IS down the road. IS1 IS1, is IS1, engaging AP, 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 AP. the Panther. I'm looking, I don't see him. I got it, I got it. Uh, nice one. I can't see it. Not having fun right now. Can't see shit.
Hold on, hold on. Southeast. Cannot see him. No joy. No joy on sight. Hold it's on. It's gonna be big. If Patton can at least take out one of the Panthers, that would really help out the defense. Yeah, the... Looks like he's getting snuck up on by AT at the same time. He's gonna have to jump shock. See what he's able to do. Damn it. Alright, hang on. Stuck's gonna... Oh! Satchel's on you. Fuck! Oh goodness. Shock might lose that panther there. Oh, that left side. That, uh, Berserk. I think Berserk got this. Oh. That's a big play by Berserk. Awesome work taking Dude, yeah, that get that satchel on. Let's, right, that right let's on swap point. to, uh, let's swap get to Patton get right now, who's, who's, uh, again in the IS-1, pushing up with his squad. We're just, we're just focusing on, uh, roaming team. Real good reaction from Berserk there to pull guys off the attack game when they're going to cap pressure there as they were a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, they had, they, had, they had the one garrison up and it had a 20 second spawn wave when they were at three quarters cap. But luckily they were able to stop it for a second and then get the spawn wave off and, and really push them. I mean, some great infantry play by, by Berserk working on the tanks, taking some pressure off of, uh, of Patton there. This may play into Berserk's more traditional playstyle to have been in the back line. I see they have a red zone, a red zone garrison there in the town side, so they're just going to start okay, monkey, you you know, getting behind yeah, first and straight. Um, they gave first a bit more room to push in through the town here, but I'm going to see the Berserk shining a bit more here while they're causing havoc with their demolition squads in the back as they reset. AT has definitely played a pivotal point in this match for sure. Yeah, and Yako is pushed back to defense. Um, we have uh, Shock, who's coming out in a P4. It looks like they weren't able to get a Panther in time, uh, but this might be the last tank that they're really able to field this game. So they're stacking up with the Panther um, before they push into St. Mary, probably for one last push. Um, Shock is, is uh, going to have his hands full, though, because no doubt Patton will set up there with that IS-1. Where did he come from? <laughs> yeah, because having the time is late right now. They just had two meat heavies leave middle. Okay, guys. You guys heard two IS ones are coming out. Yeah. And then one of manpower and one of fuel. I'm uh, coming in on center center spawn. We'll hop on someone. Yeah, hurry up and get up here. You can hop on uh, medium. We're last in column. Mm -hmm. It seems like things have calmed down a little Go bit. Hold. We gotta get. Points, so. We're gonna get a engineer. So, so ever since up, everything's been so. established, so Rodan's what now? Eric, I need you to reestablish. Start slow roll. I am a bit curious though. Would yeah. you risk an airhead though? An airhead and a bombing yeah, run at this point in here. the match. Hmm. Especially because you know majority of their team is back defending Saint Marie. If first one to do a bombing run and airhead, they most likely see it right now. They're both but if Berserk were They're able both to do it, yeah. it could bring them back. It could bring them back to re-engaging and putting pressure on their second objective. Mm. I don't think what Berserk would do it. I don't think there's been enough prep now. I think they've missed their opportunity. The first they're going to have to try and pull resources for one last push here. Berserk will be set up now for the remainder of the match on, on strictly defense. So. I don't see them getting an airhead off um, successfully on, on St. Mary's. I, I just don't think it's going to be possible to even try it. That's what Berserk is looking out for, no doubt, as well. Berserk definitely has been made in these situations and know what to do. Hey, they're dropping supplies directly south of us. Cap guns is working so all the way out west. Let's, uh, let's take a look at him and see what first is kind of working on as far as the offense is concerned. Garrison on my Q mark, and there's uh, guys in front of it just watching that direction that you guys are coming from. Uh, we're at term limit. Uh, I need to build one here. We're gonna have to go wider to get around to so, south, though, so. in that? 
Yeah, we are. Yep. Uh, Missouri calling out you that said, uh, they're gonna that first is gonna send their you said, the armor to the front, and that just looks like exactly what they're doing. Oh, so now I can kill people. You're supposed to be killing people the entire time, so not taking out spawns. That's what I'm saying. And as you can see, we have the Berserk tanks all lined up on the road, looking out for that. Even though this Panther coming up is not taking any hits yet. And shocks view. You can swap over to, to shock here as, as it looks like they're pushing in with all of their armor uh, units right yeah. here. Yeah. Right behind you. You guys shoot the left side of the tank. We're watching the tank. that last ditch effort for sure, but Patton, though, still sitting there waiting. They know it's coming. Get on the left side tank. Gun left. I'm going for the repairs. Cover me. We're pulling up on your left side. We're getting gun left. Go ahead and push up. Easy on, easy on uh, close shots. Patton looks like he's going to be on the tank, looking out around the corner for them. Goose, don't take out that garrison. I'm coming there. I'm coming. Back away from hold there. Yep. Right on your left. Right on your gun space. Just bottle up. Infantry Take out that roof. Uh, your infantry pick. I know. Yeah, it looks like they're figuring it out. Cap pressure now on uh, Lumber Yard on behalf of the Still prodding. Mm -hmm. Right thing to do. Keep the pressure off them. Can't sit back for 12 minutes. That's a long time. Mm. They need to kind of get things moving though now with uh, just about 12 minutes left, so 10 minutes left with uh, with the overtime. It's right next to me. It's right on my marker. Still now. a bit of good distance away from the point. Switch back over to Pat and looks like they're gonna try peeking out with their tank and engaging that panther. Yeah, Patton's outside of his tank right now. I got a Panther yeah, tank already pinged out! Yeah, he's trying to look for another tank because our tank is behind us. Shoot. M squad, get up there and get a carry right there. He's trying to keep his, his uh, tank behind the wall to let them know when they can come out. Good. It's a good impression. Keep peeking out there, keep peeking out there until you see him. There you go. He's shooting at me. Okay, relocate then. Yeah, that's okay. There he is. That's his Coppola right there. Keep hitting him right there. Yeah, you go. Very uncommon thing to see. Ready? I might take some of these pointers back out. Hit him one more time, you're gonna kill him, right in that Coppola. One more yeah. hit for the IS-1, I'll take out this tank. Yep. Back up and wrap. Tanks pushing mid right now. Like Patton's tank though got hit. Yeah, probably have to pull back and wrap. Yep, I'm got a lot mark for you, buddy. Wall. Item. That's up. confirmed. Yeah, First, they're definitely uh, still in this fight with that garrison up just a couple of meters away from the Reds. Uh, they have multiple uh, squads uh, pushing uh, these side through cover I'm with down. the Red they have standing by. They're in the houses across the street. They're in the houses, they're in the houses across the street. Uh, Shock just went down, down uh, by his tank. Yeah, I think there was some sap, someone's trying to satchel and he just missed it. All those tanks are going to be in great danger now. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to cap guns. Uh, it's working the west side push. He's the closest infantryman for the first. Yo, am I staying here until somebody spawns and drops supplies? Roger. First with a real good um, surplus of munitions here. I'd maybe expect to see them use a bomb run now in the last 10 minutes. Try and loosen the... Uh, some of the Berserk guys out at the strong point. Yeah, Berserk mm -hmm. has a gr has a great net network of garrisons up. They have uh, one right in the middle of the point there, and uh, you know three on the other side of the line that are going to be much more difficult to take out without being strafing runs. So they're in a good situation right now with ten minutes left uh, in in the match. I think the most enjoyable garrison that Berserk has right now to deal with those tanks is the one that's in their red zone. Uh, they can keep spawning in even with rockets uh, and get behind that tank column that's trying to punch their way through into St. Marie. And, uh, that's what they've been trying to do. Cap Gun's able to make his way into the church, sees the garrison right in front of him. Not gonna last long. Yakko's just on a 
It's a couple of meters away from oh, us as well, no. they just left the, the church. Cap guns, unfortunately. Goes Garrison's down inside church. Right on the garrison. Garrison's inside. Can we get some smoke yeah, out there in front of the Panthers? We can pull out. Alright. Definitely a critical moment there for, for Cap Guns. Let's, let's stick with them through the spawn. I don't think it would have really mattered. They probably would have just got one right up afterwards. Let's check back with Pat and looks like he's engaging the Panther. Pulled up on him. Oh, panther yeah, down! One the... Panther down! Yeah, he, got, Pat, he got really close. There he goes. The They've one. been hitting that Panther oh, for a goes. while. That's huge. Can he engage the other one? Get it. Oh, the Get other him. one is down too. Second panda got to go down, boys. Call this out, Jesus. Nice. And they take out the panther. Two, two of first panthers are gone now. Yeah. They start correctly called out. That first would send their panthers and their armor up to the front line. Jesus. Your call, Pat. Since that one's dead. Well, when the clock hits zero, you don't have that fuel anymore, so use it or lose it in this case. Thank you, Che. I don't know how much like more armor gonna... first can can muster here. Um, Shock is resorted to taking the uh, the recon tank. Recon. Not a bad move still. Recon tank has a lot of have abilities, capabilities right now. I don't know, I think Captain Squad could do with a couple of extra rifles in it. I think I would be asking them to drop out and go infantry at this point yeah. with that fuel yeah. level. Cap Guns is set up, actually set up a, a garrison there just on the west side. He's starting to really pump uh, infantry out there. Let's let's swap to Cap Guns here for this last chance. My move mark. You'll see the oh, open entrance where that slope there. is. Just shoot a rocket After directly all the other armor through it already pulled out and see if you can splash it on the rifles. side of the wall on the right hand this side. No, over. no yeah. not at all. But you gotta go get it into the church first. This is where the tension is starting. Guns goes down there. Squad, tons of infantry still there pushing. I can get you a flare in 10 seconds. I've just been listening to Yakko's expletives. Look down the street. Look down the street. He's just not having a good night. You can tell. Well, when you're meat grinding, you know, you gotta, you gotta expect to die that many times. So I, I know he's been having a hard time on the attack, but keep it first on us. Someone's got to do it. Uh, let's check back with uh, Shock here. You should be able to see anything running up that road. Side of Saint Marie. I'm gonna probably wrap around. Can we deal with some garrisons and or that uh, IS? Yeah, T34, they said it they, looks... were, they had coming up mid. Yeah, the recon's gonna have to get in there. Attacking Gary's up, attacking Gary's live. Gotta get on the point, come on boys. Go left. Get a picture on just that. I'm loading picture right now. I tried. I clipped it earlier. Recon tank. Kill this tank. Kill this garrison. Gary, right over here. Where's it, Gary? It's like Cap Guns has I am. Gary, right here. Get in, get in, get in. Over here. Go right. Not nah, Gary's over here. Go but... so left. What? Why are we circling? Because oh. Recon tank goes around. You were saying right here. Yeah, eventually someone's gonna get you. It was a late thing, dude. I was saying right where they were at. Hey, we're doing donuts out in the open. Yeah, we'll swap back to oh, when Cap Guns goes down. He's like on the point too. I don't know how that didn't get attention, but you know. All these guys are down right now. It's a it's a bloodbath on the on the point. You know. We can stick with Cap Guns here. Who's you know, still spawn on that OP, getting closer each time, but time is really, really yeah, the front not first part ally of the right church. Now. See a lot of the first guys on the north side of St. Marie trying to use their OPs and hopefully get the garrison off the point. Yep, I heard. Berserk just so, Dude, I'm so. Owned. Aware of, yeah. of all their the the rats to the point. 
Yeah, they're Berserk the is locking down all the garrisons that Curse is setting up. Clear. Tank approaching backside the of... Zone. But it has to be expected when it's that close to the point. We, we, we stuff them to the west north Coming up on two and a half minutes before you need to get cap pressure in. First, looking a little bit thinner on the point than they have uh, in the last couple minutes, but... Working diligently. 14 seconds to LP. Two minute warning now. Everyone should be forward except for me and Graves. And Stanky getting that. LP is going up. T34 on my move mark. Cat strikes coming in. It's like first was able to clear up that garrison to the northeast of St. Marie. Hopefully they got good spawn wave off that. And there's also a southwest of St. Marie. They got another push coming up. This could be the final push. Just a minute left for the first to get some pressure on. Berserk, its defense is holding really, really strong. That garrison in the middle of the church is, uh, needs to go down at first. It's going to be able to get anything going here. Smoke's going out by Cap. I hear him shooting, so I'm getting in position to... Snipe him, yes. Just listening to some first comms there. They're really just trying to pile bodies into four. any available OP at this point in time. They are. Rolling the dice now with seconds left to start a capture. Doc is coming down the main road, just firing HE shots into the church, hoping to hit We're something. We're just trying to give as much support because it's about game. And let's switch over to Yako. Looks like Yako's taking uh, a What the? The P4. Shock. Yeah, that shot in the P4. That Garrison came in Ooh. huge favor. Kirk out in red. Awesome work by Shock taking out that P4. That's really the the last chance that that first had at getting an armor uh, a unit into the point there. Yeah, they're all now we're at two minutes. Right yeah, two minutes. That that that's it, boys. I mean, Berserk putting on some cap pressure here just for fun at Lumberyard at the end. Um, Berserk's gonna come away with the three to two win here on uh, on this Karkov match. So w looking back on the match in its entirety, what what do you guys think of? The, you know the important mo moments this match like what, what do you view as moments that that really made it for for berserk here <laughs> first if you want uh, just yeah, just looking at it i mean obviously winning mid is one of the largest factors you you, <laughs> you you get in determining the outcome of the match so it allows berserk to occupy more space in the map in blue zone and get get the bodies in and get set but I don't think that was really a tail, tail, tail of the tape for the whole match because first had some really, really, really good pushes there towards the end at, at kind of holding each other at, at arm's length and making some good efforts to get in there. Happy? I definitely feel like Berserk, just with their like, knowledge of the map and being able to know uh, where the first really had like an only chance of pushing uh definitely came into their favor and also keeping that cap pressure on for as long as they did <laughs> for their second to last objective uh really helped um first just taking way too long to get their tanks up and moving uh really hurt i feel like the first but berserk being able to utilize their garrison spawn in red Thank zone you, to take out any of the pushes coming from the west and just dominating that western side of the railroad tracks absolutely huge for holding st marie because everything out past that and farther west is all open fields yeah what about you Hayes? when they start taking the point that was probably the, the most key points and then them just being able to hold down the east for that as long as they did is probably one of the more key points but also with the, uh, with the tanks going on in the beginning for the uh, Zerk, it just wasn't that great for them. 
I'm surprised they were still able to hold on even with all the, the, the tank advantage that the first had. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think both these teams played played amazingly. The uh, the midpoint capture at the start was back and forth the entire time. But you know, Hump, you're, you're exactly right. I, the, gaining that first hold of the midpoint is is so important to determining the outcome of these matches. Um, both these teams, like I said, played played incredibly. The the armor play by uh, Patton specifically on uh, on Berserk was fantastic, and uh, I, I think that. There were some moments that first had that maybe they didn't realize that they had to capitalize, and they did a great job at um, the uh, at the those moments there where they almost were able to capture the point. I think it speaks as well that you know when you see the way the the match shaped up towards the start there, you'd expect the Germans to come out victorious, but um, it, it it wasn't to be. I think this map plays the the strengths of. Um, so, it's got a real good blend of tanks and uh, infantry in this one, so I'm actually really pleased that we got to see Kharkov play out tonight on this match. And um, I'd, I'd, in terms of what we maybe expected, I'd probably say this is well, it's definitely a replication of what we've seen in season two for their, their last head-to-head. -head. It was a 90-minute slug match on Harkin Knight that finished 3-2. So uh, Berserk coming out the winner on that one. So it's 2-0 to Berserk um, in in head-to-heads. So yeah, yeah, and and. In, in, in for, for as far as their season three records, we have Berserk moving on to two and zero, oh, and first falling to uh, one and one. So uh, still early in the season, still plenty of games to be played going into the uh, playoffs here in season three. Um, still quite a few weeks away from that. So these two teams will will be going into round three against their respective opponents, and and I wish them the best of luck um, in those matches. Last words here, guys. Uh, Hump, do you want do you want to start? Anything? Any final notes to add? No, none from me. That was a real good display from both teams. So well done to both of them. Um, it, it's tough. Um, I think the first could have maybe been slightly quicker, and some of the uh, well, sorry, that's probably not not fair. I think they they they, they took their time in setting up, which is probably a good approach. Um, you know trying to build up the forces and, and get mm -hmm. in there and they, and they did take their opportunities when it was presented so real done to, well done to them and berserk at the real critical moment were really good in reacting to to that cap race so well done to both teams it was real good uh, actually a really good viewing match and i'm glad to see we got a, a good heavy tank focus in this one as well which we typically don't get from our limited povs absolutely what, what about you happy any any last notes here um yeah, kind of curious. Was that the Ru was that the Russians' first win for TPL season? Have we had for season one three, yeah. Season three. Season three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just great that we've had, you know, Russians very under uh, undershown. You know, we don't get them that often, but when we do, it's great to see a victory from the Russian side. Just a new perspective, a different way of play uh, that you can use with them, and. uh just glad we get to see, you know, the Russian side of things. Just looking back, one victory for Kharkov for the Russians in, in last season, so that was 2-1 to one, uh, in favour of the Germans, and one victory on Kirk's night for the Soviets, uh, which was right. unfortunately my team taking a L on that one, so thanks for asking. <laughs> oh, dang, just brought back bad memories, I'm sorry about that. Hayes, what, what about you, any, any last thoughts here? No, I don't know. I just feel like this map plays really well to the strengths of the Russians, yeah. What we Hump was saying earlier, you can really show that it shows the, the strengths of their of their uh, the Russians. Yeah, the uh, the PPSH really shown in a lot of engagements, particularly with uh, with Yako's squad there on the attack. But uh, yeah, I mean, for me, I don't I don't have a ton else to add uh, personally. I just want to thank everyone for watching. Thank you, Killa, in the production room. Uh, you know, your effort is is underappreciated but um you know definitely couldn't do it without you thank you to my co-commentators happy hazed and uh hump for joining us and uh big thank you to our streamers yako and Patton on on berserk and cap guns and shock on on the first so uh thank you very much for offering your perspectives and uh i definitely look forward to more of these streams this season so oh, yeah. thank you again for watching, and uh, this has been Caparza with the stream team, and we'll see you in the next stream. Thank you. See ya.